On this episode of China Uncensored, my dad's gonna kill you. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm everyone's favorite spoiled child, Chris Chappell. Authorities in China can be so unreasonable. I mean, this lady, who I'm sure is so much smarter and prettier and richer than this security guard will ever be, apparently said she didn't want to put her 20 effing thousand dollar handbag through the subway's x-ray machine like all the other poor people in Shanghai. And the security guard is all like, well, I don't care, you and your boyfriend are coming with me. Then the girl started attacking the security guard, taking a bite out of the guy and punching his head. That seems totally reasonable. Especially when, after the video ended, she reportedly started shouting, I'll effing call my daddy to kill you. The assumption is her daddy is a powerful official and will kill those security guards for forgetting that the law doesn't apply to everyone equally in China. And we've seen some high-ranking officials misbehaving. Not long ago, I did a story about one that kind of freaked out when he was told he missed his plane. <laughs> But so they have a term for these kind of people in China. Fu er dai or guan er dai. It means rich second generation or official second generation. They refer to the sons and daughters of high ranking government officials or rich entrepreneurs. By the way, did I mention that digmandarin.com has ranked me number 10 in the top 10 YouTube channels for learning Mandarin Chinese? So, being well off, these kids like to get into all kind of mischief and think their parents can get them out of it. <laughs> like when Li Qingming got a little tipsy and ran over two college students killing one. Wait, hold on, it gets better. So the guards there arrest him and he says, Go ahead, sue me if you dare, my dad is Li Gang. A quick human flesh search revealed that Li Gang was the deputy director of the local public security bureau. He thought that makes it okay that he just killed a 20-year-old girl because he was drunk driving. He apologized, eventually, after it became a nationwide scandal that the Communist Party tried to cover up unsuccessfully by paying off the family of the dead girl. Ultimately, Li Qingming was sentenced to six years in jail and had to pay a little over $80,000 to the family of the dead girl and the guy he injured. Another famous Guang'er Dai is Li Tianyi, son of Li Shuangjiang, one of China's most famous generals. He likes to sing a lot. Tianyi has had a few scrapes with the law. He was sent to detention for a year in 2011 at the tender age of 15 for beating up a couple in front of their kid after he crashed his BMW into them and they felt that was a problem. And he's just been formally charged with gang rape. But really, if you want a story that just makes your blood boil, this would be the one. In Guangdong, five-year-old Qin Zijian was playing with her grandmother when a 35-year-old woman named Wang Jing ran her down with her BMW, another BMW, didn't stop, and dragged her body 10 feet before she stopped. She stopped because witnesses physically blocked the car. Apparently, Wang felt they were out of line and got out of the car hysterical said her husband was a high-ranking official and shouted, those of you who dare to fight against the government, join in, you'll all die. Now, whether or not her husband actually is a high-ranking official hasn't been determined. Some seem to think she may really just be an official's mistress. But the five-year-old girl is dead. The kicker is the next day when the victim's father asked traffic police to show him the traffic cam video recording of the accident. Apparently, it had somehow been erased. Don't worry about Wang, though, they took her off the streets until she was bailed out later that day and then a few days later ran over another four-year-old boy. So what do you guys think about these Guang Er Dai's and Fu Er Dai's? And what would you do if someone tried to pull a My Daddy Will Kill You? Let me know in the comments section, follow China Uncensored on Twitter and like it on Facebook or else My Daddy Will Kill You.